So we've got some professional video editing software that is basically free. Um, if you go to blackmagicdesigns.com products, um, you'll come across this screen. Hang on. And what we're looking for is DaVinci Resolve. As you can see one here comes in at $1,000, but just click on the learn more. And it will load slowly. The first thing I want to say about this is you can see they're selling the kit. Either, you know, this is obviously their bread and butter. This is what they want to sell, the deck. Um, but obviously you want to get people into using the software in the first place because you start off small and then you build your way up to buying something more expensive. So you start off with a bit of editing, then go, I could do with a nice desk like that. I've made a bit of money. I'll spend $1,000 on one. Um, which is obviously what some people do. So how do you get people into buying the editor, and buying the system? Well, you let them get used to your software. And what we've got here is, it, you know, you can read all this if you want. Um, it'll tell you a bit more about the, the business and the software. But we'll keep scrolling down. And what we're looking for... is this one, DaVinci Resolve version 12. It's free. The Resolve 12 Studio is $1,000, and the one with the nice uh, kit that I would love to have on my desk is $30,000. But you, you may think, well, hang on a minute. Is it cut down to the point it's not worth anything? Most of the stuff it's taking out you will not use for things like vlogging anyway. You will not use it for most of your video editing. It's things like the bit of stabilization. There's other software out there that's free that does stabilization anyway. YouTube even does stabilization for you. Um, so that bit is pushed to one side. Things like the audio, maybe you want to clean the audio. Most people use Audacity. Um, Audacity is a free program. So you don't really need to be buying software when there's something as professional as this right on your doorstep. So you just choose if you want Mac or Windows. Let's click on the Windows version because I'm sat on my PC. And slowly something will happen. Now it just wants my info. Uh, just give it an email. Uh, Valencia will do. Uh, how you use this? Vlogging. Uh, first time using. Just so that we can register and download. And there we go. The, the file size, 354 meg, and it will come down in 29 minutes. And I'll be back when that's finished. So we, here we are, DaVinci's downloaded. Double click, and with a bit of luck, something will happen. Install. I always tell it to install, even though it's got these, uh, by the looks of it, I've got all the ones. Yeah, okay. I don't need to install the extra bits. I often do, just in case there's an update. But I actually installed some new software yesterday. So I don't think much has changed since yesterday. Uh, it's now having a look at my PC to see if we've got any hard drive space. Yes, it's fine. I accept the agreement. Put it on the C drive. It's often I'll put it on D um, because it leaves my C drives empty for when I'm doing video uh, processing because often I'll do the videos onto C then delete them um, where I run the software off D. You don't have to do that. It's just something I do myself. Uh, so we're now doing a quick install. I'm not expecting this to take too long because the drive it's installing on solid state is um, a pretty fast Kingston drive. So it should only take a few seconds. 
yeah, just install everything. Off it goes. Finish. Install. No problems whatsoever. Okay, I'm going to try and open this on top of my Camtasia. Um, so we want Resolve. Looks quite nice. Should we have the? In fact, I'll leave you to look at the tool actually, um, because there's no point in me showing you the tool. Skip and start right now. We just want to have a look at the display, just so you can see the layout. Um, I don't think it should take too long to load, but I may be moving over to this over Camtasia. Because um, I'm finding Camtasia a little buggy lately. Um, I'm not sure if it's got issues with my PC setup or what, whatever, but it's not as smooth as I would like. Um, as such, if this uh, DaVinci Resolve works a bit better, I may be a convert very soon. I especially like the, the layout of the big setup they have there for the video editing. Something for me to spend some money on. Uh, but as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. If I go to, let's try to see. Uh, where have I got some videos hidden away? Um, just give me something, my pictures or something. Yeah, programs. Da -da -da -da. Documents. No. Let's just throw some videos in there. Just so, ah, my son's got some. Is he putting any in Roblox? No. Uh, I just want a video just to mess around with. In fact, there might be one on the desktop. Let's just see if it'll drag and drop. Drop Camtasia down. Just want any video, anything at all, just to throw in here. There we go. Okay, didn't let me do a drag and drop there, but. Can I drop it in the clip bin? There you go. It did say I did it there. Media. Why, why didn't it just take that? Try, oh, come on. Uh, one of the problems I have with my screen is it loses the edges. So it says copy it there. No clips. Can I drop them in there? I just want to see it running. Okay, let's try going into users, optimum server, pictures. Trying to avoid going in my picture folders because there's thousands. Um, let's just grab a video there that, that one will do one of Zoe yeah as you expect it's a bit buggy because it's recording me as I'm playing it as well so I've got two uh, editors on top of each other basically but as you can see it's it's got a fair bit of functionality um, but as you would expect with a bit of professional software um, and I wanted to put this one forward because I know some people are using uh, Windows Movie Maker and stuff and you may find this offers you a bit more editing facilities because Movie Maker is very simple, it's basic um, this has a lot more to it to the point I could do an entire tu um, tutorial list just on functionality on this because it is a bit more advanced th than Movie Maker um, but as you can see I mean it's managing to play there and then you've got your audio levels coming up here so you can go there's, there's a lot to play with so as you can see there's a fair bit of functionality in there but like I said it's a cut down version but not that much of the version with the deck you know the video editing facility I mean I'm I wouldn't spend $30,000 on an editing suite unless I had the money spare then I would I, I do like that sort of stuff um, you've probably seen my audio 
mixer on the actual desk I have here. It's it's not just a microphone plugged into my PC. It's actually um, a full blown mixer with the proper cables for sound equipment. Um, but the whole point is that piece of software is free. And the other thing that I liked about that is it did manage to open on top of Camtasia, which also tells me that it doesn't use as much processor as Camtasia. Because um, some of the stuff I get issues with on Camtasia um, is it bombs out every now and again. I'll actually do something like this halfway through a video, and it'll just go bang, crash, and it's not stored what I've been saying for the last 15 minutes. So... That's why I'm looking at other software myself at the moment. I mean, Camtasia is great. It does a lot of stuff, and it's very simple to use. It's probably one of the easiest ones to get started with. Um, but I'm sort of reaching my limitations on where um, I want to be going. You know, it doesn't do enough for me anymore, um, which is why I'm looking at branching out. And when I seen this today, and I thought, free. <laughs> Um, I'll have that um, but it, like I said I mean when you look at what's actually missing from it it's hardly anything and it's certainly not going to affect any vlogging if anything this is going to enhance it without having to break the bank alright thanks for watching